Welcome to a special edition of Mondays with Maxi as we reach the bye weekend. Joining me as always, of course, is Nick Maxwell and great to have our senior coach, Nathan Buckley, on board. Bucks, great to have you here. Chris O, Maxi, how are you? Halfway through the year, mate. Now, what do you reckon the group has achieved? Um, I think we've started the year pretty well, um, but not so much in a win-loss uh, scenario or a ladder perspective, but I think we've, we've had a really strong pre-season, a solid start at the beginning of the year. We're understanding our strengths a little bit better and our weaknesses, um, and we've got a really good environment to take advantage of all of those. There's been some great wins. Can you put one above any other? Um, well, the North Melbourne win was, was pretty good, um, come from behind, th thought that showed real resilience and belief in what we were doing. Um, you know, the most recent one, GWS, was, was pretty strong as well against a, a touted opponent. I mean, they were a, they're still a young side and still developing, but we were, we were encouraged by a strong four-quarter performance. I think when you look at that North Melbourne win, to go in at half-time and be so disappointing in that first half, but then to bounce back so quickly, I don't think anyone in the ground saw that coming. So to me, that was clearly the best win. And to be able to make up the ground in a quarter rather than a half, I'm sure your message would have been, well, let's just bite off a little bit at a time. and get there by the final siren, but it was an amazing third quarter. I think that there's, there's twice this year when sort of the result has entered the front of our minds and it's been a negative effect. You know, it takes you away from what, what you're supposed to be focusing on. I think the, the Geelong game early, and we fought back into that game but weren't able to get back. And then even the North Melbourne game, because it, it was a top four opponent from the year before and it was one that if we'd have won, we might have got a little bit more cachet I think as soon as we've taken our eye off the process, um, we've actually stumbled in that regard, but it was good to be able to catch that one on the day. So many good players so far in the season. Can you name one that you can say has improved perhaps the most from last year? Oh, I, I hate to individualise. Um, <laughs> look, we've, we've had, I reckon, nearly to a man, we've improved. Um, uh, I mean, Marley Williams last month has been all Australian type um, football off the back half. Um, Nathan Brown has been a, the, the, a player who has got over knees and shoulders and hips and is starting to find his best footy again. Um, you know, Pendles has just been a model of consistency through the middle. Um, I think Clokey's probably putting his best batch of footy together um, for a long time. Um, Jack Crisp is one for me. Crispy. He, he's the one that jumps out. I mean, not knowing a lot about him before he went here, but just looking at his stats and then going back and having a look at him when he was at Brisbane. He played six games last year, he's played all 11 this year, averaging 21, doing the job as well, which I think people don't really see because he's kicking goals and doing well himself. He's actually doing the job on good players as well. One thing I'm often asked is, um, you know, we're, we're going to get some, we're, to, we're looking for talent, we want to recruit talent, and we're going to get some all Australians in. I reckon you've been a part of it. Good teams that play well together create all Australian players, not vice versa. So we believe, we're focusing on the way we want to play, um, you know, playing our roles uh, in a consolidated manner. So the bloke that's, you know, so centre half, half back line that the, the, the two half backs are looking after centre half back and vice versa and, and across the field. And that enables each player to play to their optimum. And we're getting that at the moment. There's still a long way to go, but we're getting that at the moment. Speaking of all Australian, Jamie Elliott's taking things to a new level as well. Yeah, well, Billy had two games there where he kicked five goals. So I think it was Gold Coast and then again against North. But felt like he had under like he he, um, he didn't rate his game against Gold Coast. You know, he kicked five goals in the second half. He did the same thing against North, but he, he the, the following game was better. Like his um, his Melbourne game was a four quarter performance, um, and for the most part, although uh, he and Heater had a pretty strong battle on the weekend, um, you know. Jamie's consistency of effort, both in offence and defence and contest, was really good. And Bucks, what about the game plan? Has there been a, a dramatic or even a slight shift in the plan from last year? Uh, look, it's a, it's, it's just been, it's been more of the same. I mean, we've focused on slightly different elements. I mean, the basics are similar. Um, I think we're just getting better at it. Um, you know, our, our, our defence for a four-week period leading into. The GW or the Melbourne game actually had really dropped away, so we we went back to training and, and schooled a couple of the basics, the basic elements of our defence that we needed to fix. Is that turnovers? Because defending turnovers eighth last year and first this year in the competition, yeah. so clearly that must have been a focus. Yeah, we, we are doing that much better. Um, I mean, time in positive territory is up about eight minutes 
compared to this same time last year. I mean, we take the second half out of last year's stats because we fell in a hole and we had plenty of injuries. We had blokes doing ankles <laughs> <laughs> and finishing off their careers, unfortunately. But um, you know, we take that out. So if we compare the first half of last year, this this first half of this year, eight threes around the same, but we're we're significantly stronger in some areas. Um, Personnel is different, clearly. What about stoppages? Is that part of that as well? Because you've gone from 13th to second in scoring from stop stoppages. So yeah. is it the structure up forward? Or is it the way you use the ball out of the stoppages? Um, yeah, we've, we've probably the adjustment to structure there we probably don't have we trust our back six a little bit more this year than last year um and and probably have an extra forward forward of the ball more often than not our, our stoppage structures are pretty consistent and we've got little little flicks that we're that we're working with to to continue to give the opposition different looks um but yeah we, uh, once again it's it's nothing special it's just doing the basics really well and what about players to come in? Who are you looking forward to perhaps playing that we haven't seen much of or any of this year so far? Yeah, well, we've got, that's probably one of the strengths of, of what we're able to build at the moment is that the, the blue sky is still pretty bright. You know, um, Levi Greenwood played three quarters on the weekend. Ben Reid's played three games, three modified games back and has looked really good. Uh, Matty Scharenberg, four or five games now. Um, you know, we haven't seen any of Brent McCaffer, Nathan Freeman, although they'll be down the track um, to get back. Um, Clinton you know, Young, come back. Yeah, Young he's, Young, he's played some some solid footy. Um, you know, Sammy Dwyer and Paddy Carnesis keep backing up and, and, and putting their uh, their best foot forward. And Darcy Moore, yep. who I think if he'd have stayed uninjured, would have played yep. um, before now, uh, but still needs to get that get that. Um, his physical status back and then and then get back into form to, to be able to demand a spot. But okay. yeah, it's good. The competition for spots is good. And one of the guys who's probably been a bit of a surprise packet, just how well he's played is, is Marshy down there in, uh, yeah. in defence in the VFL. Yeah, and, and he's yet to yet to play a senior game of footy. He probably would have, Marshy would have played, I've sat down with him a number of times. He's a, he's a hungry young man <laughs> and, and he, you know, it's great to see. Yep. You know, we don't have any any of our players resting on their laurels. If they're not there, they want to be there, and if they're there, they want to stay there. So, um, yeah, Marshy would have played senior footy at the end of last year because with guys going down, well, that's how Jack, uh, Jackson Ramsey, we haven't even gone to Ramsey and Sinclair who are out at the moment. Uh, Jackson Ramsey and Corey Gold played a couple of games at the end of last year off the back of those injuries, and it just gave them a little bit of a taste of it before they went off away for pre-season. And then on another level, I mean, even Tim Broomhead's acknowledgement of the rising star in the game he's played before the bye period gives him what's his appetite for what he can do in the second half of the year so we keep finding those opportunities and one thing I'm finding more and more as a coach is if you if you provide opportunities to young people young players um, and they're motivated enough and they've got the right coaching well then anything can happen now Bucks we know everyone's enjoying training having a great time but we need you just to explain this to us Yes, that's um, that's Jesse doing the best impersonation of the hacker. <laughs> um, we do. We, there's one particular drill. Um, we, we try and measure as much as we can on the training track, and um, that's been a real strength of ours. But but in one particular, we, we keep the teams and. Uh, in one particular draw that's fairly consistent, there's penalties if you if you don't win it, and it started with 200s, and then it went to push-ups and burpees and forward rolls, and <laughs> now it's some version of a karaoke <laughs> or a or a display like that. And um, the boys said, "Well, you got to do a hucker," and Jesse, well, they didn't know what they were doing until Jesse started yelling and had his tongue out, and you missed. I don't know if you can hear the, the, the sound, but he's is. Um, his, his verbal was Kamate, Kamate, don't know the rest. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, we're having, a, we're having a lot of fun as a group, and you know, it helps when you're winning, no doubt, but I'm reckon we're, um, you know, we, I don't want it to happen, but we could handle a couple of losses along the way and still have a really solid sense of who we are and where we're going. I think we're building that resilience as a, as a team, which is good. Good on you, Bucks. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, good luck for the rest of the year. Thanks, guys. Nathan Buckley with us on Mondays with Maxi, and of course, we'll see you next time. Go Pies.